Welcome, guys. I can't believe we are talking October 30th games already coming up. Actually, October 29th. Florida State, one of those teams I'm going to talk about. Welcome to this week's college football card. The Seminoles opened up as a 20-point favorite against Wake Forest. It is a team that has played the number 34 schedule, and they are top 20 at plus 1.6 yards per play diff. Wake Forest has played a very weak schedule being an ACC team. Remember, non-conference, they played Elon, Vanderbilt, Old Dominion. Those are going to bring your strength of conference numbers down. And they are number 96, getting out gained by 0.5 yards per play. Now, Florida State was tested last week. They played Duke. They trailed at halftime, but unfortunately for Duke, their quarterback got hurt. Florida State dominated the second half, ended up holding Duke to 273 yards, getting that win and cover, winning 38-20. to Wake Forest, this has seen a quarterback influx. Remember, Sam Hartman left transferred to Notre Dame. Wake Forest has now played three quarterbacks, and they've all struggled. Last week, they did get a win against Pitt. Surprising. You look at the box score. They were outgained by 91 yards per game. They were minus two turnovers, but you win that game. A very misleading win. Their other wins this year against Elon by 14, against Vanderbilt, and on the road against Old Dominion. So they do not have a quality win yet. Do I think Florida State is in a good position here? I do. Despite being tested in the first half in Duke, I went to the database, guys, and these numbers actually surprised me. When a team is a top 20 team and they trailed at half, but they still won the game, and now they're in a big away favorite of 16 points or more, Going back to 2015, those teams have covered 72% against the spread. And this Florida State team is special. The offense came back automatically all loaded. I'll tell you what, this is the most experienced offensive line. They have eight guys that started at least 12-plus career games on that O-line. This team also returned 17 starters, nine on the defensive front. And while they struggled for a couple weeks on the road early in the season against Boston College and Clemson, we've seen them hold Virginia Tech to a season number two low, Syracuse to a number season two low, and Duke to a season low last week. I also looked at Wake Forest. As I said, I believe they're off a fake win. When a team is off a conference win, and they are now a double-digit conference home dog like Wake Forest going back to 2017. Those teams have only gone 39 and 79, 33.1%. So the technicals on Florida State are positive. The technicals on Wake Forest a fade. Can Florida State run the ball against Wake Forest? Yes, they can. Wake Forest stats, again, a little bit misleading with that very weak early schedule. They allowed 207 yards, 4.9 yards per carry against Clemson. They allowed 158, 4.9 yards carry to Georgia Tech. They will give up the ball on the ground. Jordan Travis, a 15-2 ratio. Florida State can, continues their run to be unbeaten this year, and they cover the three touchdown spread. I made this line 21, so again, value in that. Guys, we have a great three-day promotion this week. Access three will get you a three-day pass for $49. And if you're interested in my football, do not wait till the weekend. You can go in right now, buy the Access three for $49, and click Friday, Saturday, Sunday to get the weekend plays. So as soon as I load my college football for this week, you will get the plays. You do not have to wait to the weekend if you're interested in that package. That Access 3 works for me or any capper at Wager Talk. And make sure you check out all these great videos from my great colleagues on Wager Talk TV. Thanks for tuning in.